Hello, 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 and happy Monday. Happy February 13th, right? It is Valentine's Day week. Valentine's Day week to me doesn't mean flowers and candy and romantic dates. Doesn't mean that at all in my world. It is a week of sharing, expressing our love for uh, all those people in our lives. It's for heart art because Lord knows I love some heart art, right? Um, it's just, it's a good week to just celebrate our hearts and all of the beautiful people that have been placed in our lives. So today, I'm taking it back. I'm working in my journal. I have February art prompts, okay? If you are an art journaler, if you are feeling creative or feeling stuck, if you are wherever you are, here's the thing. I supply 21 art prompts every single month. I do that and, and every month we do, we may do something a little bit different. Uh, I do that to help spur your creativity, to help you get into the rhythm of even 15 minutes a day, um, you know, getting some art down on some paper, any kind, is very, very beneficial to you, okay? Hello, 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 everyone that's popping on. It's good to see you. It's Monday. All right, so uh, this one's quite simple, heart art right? I could do a lot of other things, but we're going to stick in here. I, if you are new or just popping in, I make a little journal for every month's prompts. And there are 11 pages, 22, right? So I have 22 blank spaces where I can create. And today I am creating on one of these pages. Uh, this one actually I want this white space I like I think I'm gonna play off some of these colors but we're gonna lay some hearts down on watercolor paper we're gonna do a little wet on wet technique but then we're gonna finish it off with something fun okay so I'm gonna flip you down take you on a little ride because that's the way that we roll over here at Sugar Hill and let me flip you we'll get you situated so you can see everything and let's get into some heart art. All right, so super simple, super easy. I have my favorite, uh, one of my favorite watercolor brushes. It's the Aqua Elite Princeton brush. It's a number 10, I love it. Actually, the piece of paper I've chosen here is one in my journal that is only, it's a student grade watercolor. So, that means it's not as heavy. It's not 140 pound cold pressed paper. It's cold pressed, but it's only 98 pound. All right, so it's just a little bit lighter and that's that's gonna be fine. That's going to be fine. I have my watercolors next to me and we're just gonna start playing. I hope everyone is doing well today. Everyone's having a good day. Sorry, let's just get some of this. All right, I'm gonna start with some wet on wet, which just means I'm, I'm a freehand heart girl. I just wanna put some water down. All right, I wanna add some water and then I'm going to pop in some of my color and I'm gonna start yep that's right I'm starting with my Aussie gold and I'm gonna add my opera pink do you see how they kind of blend right in there and see wet on wet things just kind of blend together see that okay let's do another wet and there's no rhyme or reason as you start to fill your page you know, I like different hearts. I like different sizes, but you could be very symmetrical. I, I definitely am an asymmetrical artist. All right, so this time let's add in, there's some blue in there and I'm definitely gonna pop some of the blue in, but let's get back to the magenta. So this is might be a little pur more purple than I, originally wanted but that's okay I'm gonna pop that in 
and we're going to grab some Prussian blue. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. We're just going to put these together. And as I start to kind of play with my colors, now remember, I my, my paper right now is nothing spectacular. It is student grade, whoop, that's exactly what I want, student grade watercolor paper, okay? Nothing, nothing special or different, nothing expensive. You can grab it wherever. You'll see it's not going to pool. It's not going to allow my colors to, to flow as much as I typically like them to, but it's going to work just fine. You see my cup play on colors here? All right, we're going to come down here and we're going to do another, another heart. This one I don't want to touch, I don't think. We're going to bring it down a little bit. We're going to go back into this. Aussie gold. And maybe with the Aussie gold, we get some of the my mint in here. That's going to be pretty. And so I'm loving that mint. We're going to pull that back in over here. And I'm just sticking with the wet on wet technique because it seems to be working right now. So I'm going to, there we go. And we're going to brush and blue a little bit of that. make a little bit of a defined line there. All right. So we're going to come in here. Um Just all I'm doing is looking to see where I want to repeat some colors. That's pretty much what I have going on. And when I grab, go into my watercolor tray, can you see that? Let me just kind of scooch that over so you can see. When I come in to my watercolor tray and I work on, say, this one, I'm going to just repeat that color, you know, again where I may want it to pop down, okay? So liking that, liking that a lot. Um, I do want another heart to bleed into another, and I think it's gonna be right here with this pink because it's already coming, right? So I'm just gonna kind of pull this down and up. We're actually going to blot that a little bit. Remember, you can remove. So if I bring this down, here's my one heart, and then I started another here. Okay, and we're going to add, what color are we going to add in there to blend together? Maybe we'll go into my favorite purple. There we go. I know it's dark be good. I forget that this paper definitely acts a little bit differently. I'm gonna pull that. And if I decide I don't necessarily like how dark that is, right, we just wet our brush and we can pull some of it up. Definitely pull some down. So I'm gonna pop that. And we're gonna bring that back around because I want that heart. There we go. All right, so I have two. I need one. That's two, four, six, seven. Let's get a couple more hearts. Let's do a small. Let's do a small one here. With some of the blue and some of the green. And we're just gonna kind of repeat 
that one that's up there. And we're going to kind of do the same thing up here. I'm just kind of gauging where I think some color could be. And I think on this one, I'm going to pull in some pink with that. And it's going to give me, it should give me a pretty cool purple. All right. So just coming back in, pulling some more. Okay, just working with watercolors on basic paper. Basic paper. So things are going to pool differently. Uh, let's grab some more of this and pull it back in there. And definitely pull it in here. And I think I want to add a bit in here. Okay. You can leave white space. I tend, I, I, I always mean to leave white space and then it kind of switches on me. I'm gonna make that a little bit, there we go. I just didn't like the way that line was falling. This one's here, okay. Let me just get this a little dry. It's not gonna dry as fast as my typicals. And that's okay as well. I'm gonna dry it a bit before I come in and hit it with my towel. Because it's gonna remove a lot of color. Okay. It's okay. Oh. There we go. Oh, look at all that hanging out there. There we go. Okay. So that's a little bit drier. That's good. Next. Next, next, next. I'm a gold girl. I like I like the gold. I like what happens with the gold. I have my two favorite pens here. Okay. I do like the Posca gold. And you can see that it's got a bit more of a yellow tint to it. This is my all-time favorite. This I have stock in. Um, <laughs> oh, those of you that know me know what I just freaked out about. Okay, um, this is oil-based, craft smart, as basic as basic can be, gold pen. It's just got a little bit more of that natural gold feel to it versus the yellow gold of most pens. It is stinkier because it is oil-based. All right, so now I'm gonna take my gold pen. You can use whatever pen you wanted. I did consider, I do have, Posca does have make shimmer pens, right? So I had these two colors, which would probably be pretty cool. You could use just any of your Posca pens. You could use any of your markers. Um, you know, if you grab a Neo color um, or a Woody, remember those are water soluble. So if you hit it with water again, it's gonna move. So all of those things. All right, so now with my gold hearts, I'm just gonna fill in some space. I am going to fill in some space. All right, and I want to kind of hold back so I'm not, so I will be very, I will, I don't mean to be, I don't want to be. I want to loosen up. I'm art journaling, right? So I want to hold the back of my pen and I want to be a little bit more free with my 
parts. Okay, if I let it go a little bit, I might have to shake her up a little. If I let it kind of, there we go. See, by me kind of coming in, three, four, five, six. Little one there. Let's put one here. Um, I wanted that line just a little bit thicker to kind of match up. The since I shook it and re reactivated it, it's much thicker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need one more. I need one more. Let me hold it up in a way that sometimes that helps me see where I want to put one. And something's telling me to come up here. There we go. Okay. So there's that. I love it. I just love the way it looks. Um, now I have, I have a few things. I have the water soluble pencils. I have my ink tents and I have the Stabilo all. I have to make a choice. Do I want to bring blacks in? Do I want to keep it with some color and a little bit more whimsy? I could come in with my Neo color and kind of get in some, you know, kind of cool tones that way. So I just have to make a decision as to which way I want to go. I'll use a couple of both because this is just a art journal page and I'm experimenting and I'm showing you it's not a final piece of work. So it doesn't, if it if I don't love it, it's okay. It's okay. Um, let's start, although repeating the blue might be kind of cool. I don't know what I'm gonna end up putting over here, but I like when my pages kind of flow together like this. So, deep indigo. Let's, I'm going to, again, just hold the end, and I'm just gonna do Kind of a whimsical line. I, I don't want them perfect. All right. I don't want it perfect. And then I'm going to come in with my fuchsia. And we're going to kind of just go around some of these. Just half. All right, it's just a little, just a little, can you see how that adds? Just a little bit of fun, just a little bit of whimsy. Now what happens if I decide, right, if I want, I can come in with a little damp brush and activate that, activate some of those. And when I do that, those lines are gonna pop out and be a little bit more. Can you guys see how that's kind of activating? I'm kind of trying to hit the later. And I don't, I see how I, I'm not going over everything perfectly, right? Kind of keeping it a little messy. It's just my, it's my preference. Okay. And now to wrap it up, Pretty much, let's get some scrap paper here. Just kind of put that there, move any phones or anything, and let's let's splatter some color. What colors do we want to splatter on here? Oh, we're gonna go with upper pink, even though I said I wasn't. We're gonna do, 
we're gonna throw up our pink. All right, you see how I'm kind of throwing with that throwing and I get more of a line. And then um, let's come in with some of the purple, the very basic purple, pretty watered down. And let's just do a little tapping. Okay, get some tapping down there. Just splotch it in a little bit more in some spots. There. All right. And last but not least is some of my metallic tones. And I think. The copper is talking to me a little bit more than the gold, but I could do both. I could do both. Let's throw some copper. Ooh. All right, this is more copper. This is the rose gold. It's, it's kind of throw just a little. And then let's go into the gold. There we go. All right, and I've got my gold going nice and wet. I didn't change brushes because I don't really need to. You could, but see how I'm just gently kind of tapping. And what that gives me is more of a defined little area of gold, if that's what I want, like right here. I kind of want to break some of that purple up. And so I'm going to dab some gold on there. And we're going to kind of come in here to that empty space that I like. Maybe let's mix some gold. See, I don't want any of the hearts kind of empty, so I can direct a little bit more. And there we go, my friends. How simple is that page? Super fun. Super fun to explore with your watercolors or anything, anything at all. It looks like I stuck my finger right there and that's kind of bothering me. See that spot right there? So let me, because I've got all this nice wet, wet kind of. Watch some. I'm just gonna put some pink there. And it might bring my eye there quite a bit. But that's gonna be okay. I'm gonna turn the camera up here in a second. I just wanna get this a little dry so I can hold it up for you. I don't want drippy. I want splatters, not drippy today. So I just need to make sure they're pretty dry before I lift my book up and end up with too much. End up with too much. Um, all right, let's get you back up. Way, way, way. Okay, let's see. Anybody have any questions for me? Feel like I'm really really close but I guess I'm not all right how is everyone hello 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 okay so yeah super fast super simple fun to play with um, makes a great card if you have a last-minute card that you want to send out today who cares if it doesn't arrive till Thursday or Friday it doesn't matter it's not too late it doesn't matter um, or bring to a friend or whatever, but you can see you can see some of the shimmer you've got just by adding those layers, right? We started with basic hearts, but then we did some gold and then we did a little bit of play around the heart and then we splattered and by adding all those layers, we made the page just a little bit more interesting, right? And I still have this page over here from when I made my book and it's sitting here waiting for who knows what prompt I'm going to put over there. But they kind of coordinate. Super happy. Super easy. What was that? Not even a half an hour. My 
hair's falling out. Such a fun play with hearts. Yes, Pam. Um, hi, Lainey. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, Cheryl, yucky. Dentist. Hi, Edith. How is everybody? Hi, Yvonne. You guys can catch up easily. Yes, Jess. Um, you can catch up easily, easily, easily with this one. It's super fun. But like I said, take it to the next level. Level. Play. Play with this. Again, art journaling. It's all about learning our supplies, experimenting with what we like, seeing what colors go together. Right? So by taking maybe some colors that I don't typically use or put together in, in wet on wet hearts, right? With watercolors or your mermaid markers or your acrylic paint, right? Water down your acrylic paint and see what they do. Use your colored pencils. It doesn't matter. Tombow markers would work really, really good with this. Um, and just, just play a little bit with the supplies you have. This is how you get to know them. And that is what art journaling is about. Every page we do in our art journal is not supposed to be a masterpiece. It is literally a time for us to get to know our supplies, become one with wherever creative space we happen to be in, and play. Just play. Who cares if it comes out terrible? And if it comes out terrible and you don't love it, you go over it with gesso. You go over it with black paint. It doesn't matter doesn't matter. Nothing's ever wasted. However, I will tell you that if you don't love something at first, I recommend not covering it up right away and let it just go. Close it up and come back to it later. You're going to have a whole new vision on it. All right, my friends. So happy art day. Happy art day. Happy heart day tomorrow. Let me know what you have going on. Uh, if you have any questions, any concerns, that's Art Snacks for this week. I hope you have fun. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful week, and I will see you again soon. Bye.